Good morning. If everyone uh, could take their seats, uh, I'd like to get started. Um, first of all, I'd like to briefly introduce myself. My name is Pat Murray. I'm uh, going to chair the first session. I'm uh, the dean of the medical school at UCD, and uh, I'm also, uh, at other times of the day, um, the clinical director of the matter, uh, CRC, and uh, very pleased to see that this event and to take part, and I, I thank uh, Joe and everyone involved for the invitation to be here. Uh, to kick off the session, I, I first of all will also say that uh, you've got quite detailed bios of all of the speakers, and uh, it's a relatively tight agenda, so I will not read uh, through them in, in great detail with uh, uh, hopefully causing no offense to anyone by uh, not, not uh, giving you the full bio. But uh, to start things off, I want to introduce uh, the, the leader of, of this event and uh, our initial speaker, Professor Declan Devan, Professor Midwifery in NUI Galway and the, the Sales of University Healthcare Group, who's the director of the HRB Trials Methodology Research Network, and who is going to start us off. Declan. Thanks. Um, thanks, Pat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, on behalf of the organizing committee um, of today's meeting, I'm delighted to welcome delegates from all over the country um, to what is the first education meeting of the Health Research Board Trials Methodology Research Network. Um, which is held today in partnership with the Clinical Research Facility in Cork. Um, I'm particularly pleased that we had to seek a larger venue for today's session than was first planned. Um, I'm sure you'll agree looking at the agenda, as Pat said, it's quite a tight agenda, but it's quite an exciting day ahead of us where important topics related to investigative responsibilities for HPRA regulated studies will be addressed by experts in the field. I'd like to particularly thank the speakers for giving their time and substantial expertise <clears throat> so generously. I think the large audience here today, we will have approximately 120 people in attendance plus the speakers, um, is testament to the interest their um, sessions have generated across the island. Um, I'd like to particularly thank um, uh, HRB colleagues and Dr Graham Love and Cody um, for their support and HRB support <coughs> of the Trial Methodology Network and Dr Love for agreeing to open today's meeting. I want to take a quick second, in case I forget to do it later on today, to thank those who worked in the background of um, organising uh, today's meeting. It had very little to do with me. I'd particularly like to thank my colleagues in the CRF uh, in Cork, uh, Professor Joe Eustace and Francis Shiley, and my colleagues in UI Galway, Dr Sandra Galvin, Arlene Broder, and colleagues in the CRC Galway, Professor Martin O'Donnell. I hope everybody enjoys today's meeting, and it'll be the first of many engagements you'll have as the HRB Trials Methodology Research Network rolls out its series of educational activities over the course of the next two and a half years or so. Before I hand back to Professor Murray, just a couple of quick housekeeping items, if that's okay. Um, I'd like to remind you to make sure your phones are switched to silence, please, uh, if that's okay. And the emergency exits, we have one on the top back left, as I'm looking at it, of the auditorium, and on my right-hand side here. I've been asked to advise there's no food or drink in the lecture theatre, and we will have coffee at 11 o'clock. Um, we have a busy schedule, so as Pat said, the session chairs will uh, uh, be keeping speakers relatively tight to time. Hopefully we'll have time for questions, but if not, I'm sure the speakers will be very happy to engage with questions during the breaks. Um, thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Declan. I, I should say I didn't promise to keep the speakers to time. <laughs> it was an impossible task. Um, but uh, I'd, I'd like to now introduce our, our, um, our opening speaker for a, a, a short keynote address. Um, Dr. Graham Love is, I think, all very well known to everyone here already as the chief executive of the HRB a position, which he's already had a profound and very positive impact. And I'd like to uh, uh, briefly uh, uh, give you some of his background. I think many of us. Uh, Hugh Graham and uh, Science Foundation Ireland. He's also got an extensive um, uh, background which you can read in his bio, but um, uh, having uh, moved from uh, Black Medicine Ireland uh, not very long ago, I think he, he's already really uh, revolutionized much of what the HRB is doing. Uh, this kind of event is, a, is a, 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 a very positive trend of the kind of things that are happening around the country. There's a lot of excitement about many of the other developments in clinical research happening in Ireland. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Graham's remarks and uh, Really delighted to be here uh, for, for this uh, session. Thank you, Graham. Thanks, Pat. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd rather go here if I may rather than standing behind a, a podium. 
Um, I slightly wobbly legs because I walked here at quite a pace. I live in Harold's Cross, Rathgar, and I popped it into Google to walk here, and it said 31 minutes. 31 minutes, my ass. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I am struggling. So I'm, I think I'm reasonably fit, but it was a struggle. I popped on my uh, uh, iPhone to listen to, to music. I thought it would be a nice, pleasant walk. Um, it wasn't. Uh, taxi next time, I think. Um, I was also, I couldn't have noticed, uh, if you forgive me for um, um, going sideways for a second, I was listening to you 2 on my, on my phone on the way here and it prompted me to, uh, uh, it reminded me of a story, something that happened to us over Christmas, apologies to Anna who's heard this story already, but my family fostered a dog for two weeks over <coughs> Christmas, pestered by my 11 year old daughter. Um, I said, right, we can't keep one, but we'll foster one for the two weeks from Christmas, we'll get it out of the the shelter up in Rathfarnham there, the DSBCA, two weeks, myself and my wife both work, but at least for two weeks of Christmas we'd be there all day long, we could look after a puppy and house train and give it back to the shelter and we'd be better able to go on to the next family. It was a traumatic experience giving the dog back on the 4th of January, you can imagine there was tears everywhere, not just my daughter, <laughs> uh, but it was quite interesting, about a week later I got an email from my sister-in-law in Italy saying, suggesting I go onto the Facebook page of the DSPCA. And I went on, she pointed out that the dog had just been adopted, and there was Ali Hewson. The dog had been adopted by Bono, and again, <laughs> uh, with servants and 15,000 square foot of their uh, <laughs> capacity. So, you know, all's well that ends well. Uh, anyway, uh, on to the subject of today's conference. Shame face, side stories there. Um, uh, it's fantastic to see what is beginning to happen, I think. Um, I like to refer to this kind of as a jigsaw, the clinical research jigsaw that is falling into place at the moment. Um, Pat was very kind to me there, but in reality, a lot of this started long before my arrival at the, the Health Research Board. There has been pieces of the jigsaw, I like to think of it probably somewhat simplistically, but you build from the ground up with the project funding, investing in the people, but then there is this critical piece, which is infrastructure. And over the last few years, we've built up ourselves and others, and ourselves as in the HRB and others, uh, you know, real capacity and infrastructure in terms of clinical research facilities or centres, um, some which actually pre-existed pre HRB investment in terms of Beaumont, Vincent's and the Matter, and then along here with the Wellcome Trust in St. James and Trinity uh, over in Galway, uh, which will open up in, I think, about a month or two, it's going to happen. And we have obviously with Joe, etc. in Cork. So if you like, there are the, the actual facilities. We have the methodology network, which is a critical piece in you know, giving us the, the design rigor. And one of the things I constantly notice at panels, etc., is uh, the need for more rigor in the design, statistical power, numerical power, etc. Watching that capability grow here over the last few years, both where I am now in the HRB, but even some of the work we did in um, Science Foundation Ireland. Most of you will know that we invested close to 10 million just before Christmas in four clinical trial networks, um, which is another piece of the jigsaw to build credible networks to supplement some that are already there. It's not like it doesn't exist, but it's that injection, I suppose, of support, both financial, and I think it's a statement. I think underneath Pat's remarks is several pieces of the jigsaw are clicking together at a moment that would give, I think, the belief that, you know, as a country, we are getting serious about this. Um, we're willing to invest in it. If you invest in infrastructure, you've got to be in it for the longer term. It's not a, a three or four year pulse. So between the likes of the facilities, with the likes of Declan's uh, unit, with the likes of the CTN networks getting going, let's not forget i a pre-existing network, very successful one in the cancer space, and the definitive interventions that uh, the HRB have been funding for a number of years and will continue to do so. We, we appear to have the ingredients of a coherent, integrated uh, clinical research system. It's not there yet. I don't think we've, we claim that we are. We're still, you don't make something like this in two or three years. You know, it's a 10 year endeavor effectively. We've been at building elements of it, and I think those uh, pieces of the jigsaw are starting to click in place and built on sort of the general research capability that has built up in Ireland over the last 10 years. I think we are well placed, uh, well placed to progress this and achieve more on the translational side whatever your definition of that word, translational, happens to be, but ultimately we do need this stuff to end up in practice. I mean, that's at the, at, the, at, the end, at the end of it. It does take time, and we have to we tolerate the time interval for that to do 
to be effective, but that is what we ultimately want. Um, I'm really pleased to kind of see the, the, the scale of this event, uh, the numbers of people here, and it kind of reminds me, I was just talking to Joe Eustace there, I think, I, I can't imagine if this event took place two or three years ago, there would have been this many people around. I don't think we'd have a community of this size, of this interest. I also think there's a nice, uh, Pat alluded to this, there's a sort of a, an optimism in the air uh, now, which I think is, is, is it's important, it gives people uh, beyond the physical things that are there, something to, um, to, uh, to, to, to look to, the, the vision piece, I suppose you'd say. So it's exciting. Uh, I, think, I gather I understand this is actually the first of several here today. I think this is going to, as this community builds, it builds its skills. What I really like about it, the way it's integrated here, we have Declan's unit. Declan, who's based in Galway, I think physically your seat. Joe in Cork, well here we are at St. St. James, I suppose, giving rise to believe that as a country 200 miles wide and 300 miles long, it really uh, doesn't make sense to have uh, too many regional splits in these things. And, and we need, we, we're gonna need this anyway to, to play in effectively what is an international um, endeavor. In fact, a further comment, I was just speaking with Joe, I was over chatting to the Director General of ECRAN, the um, European Clinical Research Infrastructure Network, <coughs> and that's another piece I think we need to look at and, and potentially begin to tap into as it, it may well be the vehicle for a lot of European academic uh, investigator-initiated work uh, across the continent to, for Ireland to tap into. So I'm not going to go on much longer, I simply wanted to, uh, um, I suppose, give you a sense of my hope given what we are seeing here, and I see that these pieces of the jigsaw I keep referring to, really we're at a nice stage now where a lot of it's going to click together. Um, you know, if you think about, sorry I missed it, an important uh, piece which most of you will probably know, but sitting in the middle uh, uh, as an infrastructure to connect the various clinical research facilities to help the engagement of the trials methodology network, to help the clinical networks load in their demand and capability. We have just announced the funding uh, of the uh, Clinical Trials Research Network, at ICTRUM as it's uh, currently known. But effectively, and you have to excuse my simplistic language, but I often refer to it with people as sort of a shared service entity that sits in the middle connecting up the various pieces so that we can uh, initiate, conduct, and win more, quite frankly, multi-center studies uh, internationally and, 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 and nationally. So there really are several pieces. The, the business buzzword would be an integrated ecosystem. But ultimately, we're talking about a coherent health research or clinical research system. And I think we're at that point now. We've done a lot of that. Uh, you know, when you see a building going up, there's a lot of foundations, and you don't see a lot of progress. We're above the ground now, and a lot of it is starting to become quite visible. I think we're going to see accelerated, visible, impact style progress over the next five year period. And I find it quite exciting. I'm really glad my timing and arrival at the HRB, when actually much of this stuff happened before me, <coughs> kind of perfect in a way sitting nicely with how a lot of this is coming together um, and I'm kind of, I, I really look forward to it. I wish you good luck today. I think this is the beginning of a really important um, series of events and endeavour. I hope you, it, it sort of uh, gets a, a maintenance role and you're doing this regularly and building further confidence uh, in this community. Um, and at that point I think I will hand you back to the chair who is Pat. All yours, Pat.